Right, I'm just walking down this raked up bit. So I've, it's never, I've never seen it like this before, cleared. So it could be that they want to eventually go put oh, through this gate there. You should be able to get through there. I've been down on that beach before, and I don't forget. But you never know where it might find the old penny. I mean, you don't know. It might just stick out the surface. That's what that happens. I've got to climb back up in a minute. Yeah, it used to be. See that there? The trailing cables. There used to be big blue cables that came down these steps here, through a channel down there, along a rail, out to the sea and into the... into the ocean. Let's just take a picture. Here yeah, now. Yeah, you could easily get down through here. <clears throat> just climb down by the fence and get round the corner. Fisherman down there, look. And over there, somebody fishing. Lots of fishing. Yeah, so like I said, I've kind of, I've been down there before. These cables would go down where those pillars are, and down, down, go through that rack there. Those are bomb cradles. They used to store stuff. Uh, so lots of history and you have got to be careful what you tread on down there. Even where I am now could be dodgy. Anyway, we're going to walk back up now. See if we can find anything else. That was quite good to find that little sign there, wasn't it? If you think about it, the things that you can find down here. Um, trailing cables, that's what that means. About the cables that would go down like that. This might have been very clear in the past, you see. It just grows over so quick. And all that could have been clear for all we know, all that gorse. Because this was an MOD place. And as some people know, I've got some really good video footage and photos of this MOD place before it was demolished. When this building still existed. I've still got a few things like the steps. They keep a few things as history here. But they took a lot down. I found a really good knife up here once as well. In the bushes there. Soldier's knife. Somebody must have dropped it. Uh, so I thought I won't leave it lying about, not a knife, not like that. So I took it home. <sighs> like you do. <sighs> so you never know what you're going to see. If you look down, who knows if you might see an old shilling or something from the past. It happened to me once when I was on a walk, I found a very early Queen Victoria penny and uh, which I've kept yeah quite an early one when she was young so anyway I have been down this track before 
but it's not, I've never seen it cleared like this. And there used to be a way through. You could walk through. I think there's a, still a bit of a path there, just showing by that bush. You could walk through. And the fishermen will know all sorts of ways down. Most of them get in here further up through a gate. They get in here. They either walk down there and do the steps, or they go round and get down. But they're very keen to keep people out from getting in here. It's always blocked off. They're always... People still get in though. They're forever trying to say to people, please don't come in here. I mean, who knows if, it's, if it was once radioactive, you know? Of course, it had a, a lovely little pier once as well. Not a fun pier, a landing pier for marine craft. And they've got designed landing areas on these beaches as well. This was a significant post in the World Wars and probably in the Napoleonic Wars as well, where they could keep an eye on any enemy coming up the River Severn to Bristol. A big river overlooking to Wells over there. Wells where you've got Cardiff and Swansea and all that. Port Talbot. Of course, I've gradually picked up bits of knowledge as I've as the years have gone by about this place. I learn a little bit more because you bump into people who know a bit and they pass it on. And of course it's a lot more than whatever I can say about, imagine when this was busy out here, a hub of activity with servicemen everywhere. I mean, I can remember after that period, within the last 20 years, the, the Navy bloke with a hat on sat in the lookout post with binoculars. Then when they still use this place. So there's a lot of history here, i just tell you that. It goes back a long way. Probably Napoleonic times as well when they were guarding the Bristol Channel. And... You've got to be careful where you walk, because they used to practice a lot up there. That was the firing range up there. That was the... <coughs> where they used to fire off their weapons there. They used to have signs up warning people to be careful and don't pick anything shiny up. Right, over and out. Back on again. Few people just passing me, so I sort of tend to be discreet with the videoing. But if it, on the video you hear a banging noise, over there where there's a lot of shiny cars, there's a clay pigeon chute. I've passed it in the past when I've been wandering around Wick St. Lawrence, one of my one of my Somerset churches that I used to cycle out to up until I broke my wrist. Really, um, I got my wrist is. I put my wrist under a lot of strain not long ago when I was moving the heavy trunk. So it's in respite at this, having a rest at the moment. I got a heat pad on it and a bandage, a support bandage. It's all right, I can do everything with it, but it, it was injured, it was frightened when I moved this big heavy trunk. I, I know I should have been careful. It's the first time I've ever had since uh, it got better that I've had a twinge in it. Of course, it was about the time now I'm thinking of getting on my bike. But I'll have to wait a little bit longer now. I don't normally go out to the summer anyway. And I don't go as far as I used to. to tell the truth, no. No, I used to cycle all the way out across the levels of Glastonbury and all the way back again, you know what I mean? I've noticed a difference in my energy levels and strength. Okay, yeah. Anyway, look, very soon, folks, we'll be leaving this beautiful area. And, uh, Crook's Peak right ahead of us. Not the most brilliant days for photography, but I am recording still. I always do. People follow these poles. Poles without any arrows. They ain't got round to put them in them yet. 
They do filming out here as well, by the way. Usually old dramas, they use the backgrounds for up here. And there's a gate normally open. You can normally just lift it up. It's, they don't tend to padlock it. They did used to, and there used to be security cameras everywhere there. So yeah, you can still get in that way. And I, in the summer, I tend to get down on the beach there and have a little picnic on the rocks. That's a tributary of the of Wilbury. And then further around, we've got the River Banwell. And of course the River Severn with its many rivers. And over there, the clay pigeon shoot that you can hear. I'm gonna stay up high. The sheep are all gathered up the other end and they're probably all expecting lambs any time now. There's a big herd of sheep and uh, it won't be long. Because we have mild weathers, they might lamb earlier. I don't know. I'll just take a picture. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going back that way. I'm not looking at the time. It's quite likely I'll get a four o'clock one. I reckon it must get dark about five now, do you think? Not sure. As soon as it gets dark, around very close to set. I'll be able to go out for longer and get that later bus. Don't want to hang around in the dark bus stops. It's using video. Am I still on video? Oh yeah, I'm still on video. So I forget. This is the little camera, the little Sony. Needs assessing for photos really. If I don't get the, the the photo image sorted, it would be brilliant again. All the photos keep coming out white. Don't really know what to do about it. see somebody. Do you know, some people are going to risk walking down there, aren't they? Do you reckon? I reckon there. Almost looks like there's a path though, doesn't there? Where it doesn't have to touch the farmer's land. It just makes you wonder if you can get out there. Doesn't it? Why don't you do, um, hold on, put that on. Down there a minute. Oh, it's gone again. That is. Hasn't moved. That's like a walkway there, doesn't it? There. Down the edge. Just wondering when they're going to let it. Ah. 
I just let the camera dangle for a little while then. I was trying to home into the part of the marshland over there where there looks to be some sort of sea defence because what people want to be able to do here is walk around this bit and go around there because further over you can walk all the way to uh, Cleveland. So I can see the wreck sticking at the water there. There's a wreck there. Some sort of wreck. And apparently a fighter jet crashed out, out there somewhere at some point. Yeah, it's a bit nippier today than yesterday, the wind. But I, I didn't want to stay here today. It's my birthday. <laughs> I could have done things with other people, but I did things yesterday. I would have done them today. It was their choice to do yesterday, not mine. I would have done it yesterday. Today, I mean. And I would have done my walk yesterday. There we are. There's the, the meeting of the Whirlbury tributary and the River Banwell. For a long time I thought that was always the Banwell, but it's not. The tributary comes from the Priory, which is there. There's the Priory. In the winter. Looking calm and serene. Yeah, they've, they've actually reinforced the path now, and it's not muddy or awful anymore around that way. Or you can go across the fields, of course. It's gorgeous here though, isn't it? You can see why I like it, and it's Saturday and there aren't many people out. I am a bit surprised at that really, that there aren't many people out. Must be something good on telly. Right, just going to zoom into the Priory a minute. I can't see what I'm doing. Don't forget this hasn't got a viewfinder. That's probably as far as I can go. And then zoom out again. And I can take a picture. Once again, I can't really see what I'm doing. I think that's it there. You really need a tripod. Ended quite well, really, isn't it? You don't want to use it anymore. What do you think about that? That's a good place to put it. I'm just saying that it sounds like it's had enough. The Kodak. Now I've got, I've actually got a charger in my bag, but it never seems to want to charge anymore. Um, I might just put it on. In a minute, I might just put it on and see if it will charge. I've only brought out the old battery charger though. So, I mean, I've got no idea if it would do it. It's not been, it hasn't been doing it. <coughs> it has been doing it sometimes, but not letting me use the camera at the same time as charging, which is always, which normally happens. I've decided to take the upper route where the path has been reinforced and made less muddy and we can have a little wander down here it'll be very calm down here away from the wind yeah they've put more stones down because this was taken over by the National Trust this area now and they want to encourage people to visit so it's like a nature reserve out here really and they really want people not to go off I mean I'm one of these people that go off track all the time otherwise you bump into human herds and of course you've got young people now who once didn't have little people who are now having to carry them on their walks so it changes your life when you're a child it really does Hey, 
And here we have our little lake. I'm just going to leave that there while I get out the charger. So I'm just leaving that there a minute. We haven't had a drink yet, Phil. No, I know. Uh, Try charging up. I just don't think it's working, the charger. Dear, no. I think it drains the actual... I think it drains the camera, more than anything. that end away from the gate. Yeah, on video. I'm just going to, I've stopped here. Where are you? A minute away? Okay, down there by the car. All right. I'm just going to have a drink here. I'm having a break here and taking some photos of this nice lake. Yeah. It's quite wind. There's no wind at the moment. Not this side. It's not cold wind anyway. If, in the background, you can hear that, can't you? That um, clay pigeon shoot going on. Yeah, I'm just going to have a little drink, a flask of hot something or other. Meet you halfway, okay? 